Mama Cuzzo is in the house. She's in the house. She's in the house. Mama Cuzzo is in the house. Hey, she's in the house. She's in the house. It's M to the A to the M to the A to the C U Z Z O. It's Mama Cuzzo. M to the A to the M to the A to the C U Z Z O. It's Mama Cuzzo. And I am back in the building. What up, fam? You already know what we do when we come to this channel. Do you mind, please? Thank you, fam. Appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, old jokes aside, let's say a prayer for, before I eat this food, okay? Our Father, which are in heaven, I thank you on today, oh Father God, for Lord. I thank you, oh Father God, just for letting us see the day, oh Lord Jesus. And I ask you, oh Father God, that you take care of my family out there, oh Father God. Give them the desires of their hearts, oh Father God. Go into their homes, oh Lord Jesus, and bless them and show favor up over them and their children, oh Father God. And I ask you, Lord, that this food be a nourishment to my body, Lord Jesus. This I ask in your name. Amen, amen, amen. What's up, fam? Today, I got me some blue shelled crabs. Don't know why they call them blue. Don't come over here saying that, but they orange, mama, because I know they orange. I can see, but I don't know why they call them blue shell. But I think because when you fur you, before you boil them, they blue shell. So I'm going to eat me some. Because I had a taste for this today. And I got that sauce back here. Mm -hmm. And I had to have me some. Take this with them. Mm -hmm. Man, let me tell you. I ain't gonna lie. I had like 10 blue crabs, right? But I had started smashing them when I sat down. I said, you know what? I'm gonna do a video. I gotta do a video on it. Because they were so rolling to me. Look at that. I thought they were ash on my elbow, fam. Look, see that look like ash, but that ain't ash. <laughs> look, you see that? Like my elbow ash. <laughs> but that ain't ash on my elbow. It must be the reflection from the light. Look at it, fam. Look at it for yourself. Then look, I ain't ash. <laughs> I seen that for myself. Some people don't like blue crab. Ooh, and it's got a lot of meat in it, too. Oh. Mm -hmm. I knew this was going to be good, fam. I knew that. Look at the ass. Look like ass. Look. Look. I'm not ass, man. <laughs> no, I'm not. When I boil them lemons, even with my crab oil, I can eat them little. I just can't do no oranges. No. I couldn't put oranges in my crab ball. In my, not in my crab ball, but in my seafood ball. Mm -mm. This rolling to me. I ain't going to lie. Rolling to me. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's good. They say Maryland is the place for. For Baltimore is the place for crab. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take all that, but Mississippi, Louisiana is the place the Baltimore. I ain't lying. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute. People say I don't do enough eating. All I do is talk. But I be so excited to talk about the word of God to y'all. I just can't hold this, huh? Well, baby. Today we finna gossip about Lot and his wife, what I've been reading. Abraham had a nephew named Lot. It was good to me. Oh, um. All my Bible readers. I know y'all know about Lot and his wife. The reason why I say his wife, because she didn't have a name in the Bible. And I, I say, God has a name for everybody in the Bible, but he ain't had no name for her. There was some other people he didn't have no names for, neither. Because the lady that touched his garment, he didn't have a name for her, neither. It was a lot of names, but baby, let's talk about Lot and his wife. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. good to me. And when, look, and when I was eating them and I was boiling them, I had like to took all their legs off and ate them before I even got to the table. Mm hmm Man, good to me. I'm going to talk about them in a few minutes. See, that's how good I boil them. When you can take the shell off and the meat still there. See? I'm gonna talk about a lot of his wife in a few minutes. Give me a minute. good. Don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me nothing by my hand. Nothing. They my fingers. I, I ain't asking you to put them in your mouth. <laughs> I'm not even asking you to put none of my fingers in your mouth. So don't be coming over and talking about me licking my fingers. Still on that water, kids. Still on that water. All right, let's talk while I'm eating. Like I said, Abraham had a nephew named Lot. So they was they was pretty wealthy. They had a lot of cattle on the farm. They had a lot of cattle and sheep and you know what a farm knew. So, but for some reason. Abraham shepherds and Lot shepherds couldn't get along. 
Ooh, this story is so good. They couldn't get along for some reason. So, Abraham, I'm putting it in my term, okay? Abraham was like, look, Lot. Look, dude, we family, right? We ain't got no business beefing. But their shepherds was beefing. He said, okay. Lot, what I'm going to do here. He said, okay, Lot, what I'm going to do? You get some good to me. I can't want to talk. Hold on. All right. Okay, let me get it together. He said, Lot, what I'm going to do here. If you go west, I'm going to go south. If you go south, I'm going to go west. If you go east, you know, telling them, hey, if you go this way, I'm going to go the other way. So, it was a town called Sodom and Gomorrah. Y'all ever heard of Sodom and Gomorrah? Oh, it was a sinful town, man. So, when, so Lot had decided he was going to go and stay in Sodom and Gomorrah. Hold on, let me put this over there because this is getting good to me. I can't over All right. Lot had decided he was going to go to Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, in the process of Lot moving, Abraham seen three men, but two of them was angels. So they came to, to Abraham and Abraham decided to make him a meal. Because Abraham, I guess he was a good guy. You know what I'm saying? To make him a meal, which he was a good guy. If he was a friend of the Lord's, he was a good guy. So he decided to make them a meal. They ate and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So he was about to see the angels out. Because two of them was angels. So he was about to see the angels out. When he was seeing the angels out, they was looking over Gomorrah. And God was like, should I tell Abraham what I'm about to do? And I guess God was like, yeah, I could trust Abraham. So, Abraham, God, Abraham, God had told Abraham that he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. It's so good to me, y'all. It's good to me. So, Abraham said, God, you mean to tell me you finna destroy the whole town? Look, 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 dude. Look, dude, he say. I'm just speaking in terms of my terms when I, when I be reading, okay? He said, look, dude. What if you find 50 people in there that are not sinners? He said, but God said, well, if I find 50 people in there, that'll keep me from destroying the whole place, okay? Abraham knew. <laughs> Abraham knew it wasn't no 50 people in there that wasn't sinners. So he said, well, God, you mean to tell me? He said, okay, 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 God. Let me ask you one more question. What if you found 40 in there in the town of Sodom and Gomorrah? What if you found just 40 in there that were perfect people? He said, well, if I find 40 in there, then what God kept telling him, if I find 40 in there, I'm not going to destroy the town then. So, I guess Abraham thought about it. He said, probably ain't no 40 neither in there. So, he said, all right, God. Well, what if you find, bro, what if you find 30 in there? He said, well, if I find 30 in there, I'm not going to destroy the town. I guess Abraham said, man. It ain't no third in there neither. <laughs> so, he said, I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to ask you one more time, Lord. Dude, if you find 10, he said, well, if I find 10, I'm going to destroy the town. So he said, okay, 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 okay. I ain't gonna answer no more. So the angels left Abraham and they went to Lot House. Knocked on the door. Lot let them in. They not even knowing they entertaining the angels, okay? Lot let them in. But when Lot let them in, the town, it spread all over the town. Just like anywhere else, it spread. If a man on the run, and if they feel like something ain't right, they heard that it was two people, two men had came to Lot's house. And they was beating on the door, telling Lot, Lot, 
with them two men that, that was in your house. Oh, this is good to me. Oh, I'm talking about good. And Lot said, in exchange for the two men, i give you my daughters. Ain't that something? Now, that's kind of wicked, ain't it, fam? You're going to exchange your daughters for two men, and they looking for these men because they want to kill them and harm them. And they also want to hurt Lot, too. So the angels slammed the door and wouldn't let the people in. That's how powerful the angels are, okay? So, who oh girl is good to me. So check it out. So, when the angels finally got sat down and talked to Lot, they said, look, y'all gonna have to hear up and leave. Because God finna come here and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. So, I guess Lot said, all right. We got to, I, I know he was like thinking like, I got to leave all my cattle, all my riches because Lottie family was the only Christian people in the town, y'all. Can y'all imagine you being the only Christian in your town? So, the angels took Lot. Hold on. It's getting good to me. Again, the food got good to me again. But angels took Lot the wife by the hand and took Lot and his children by the hand and told them to run. So Lot and them ran. Lot and them was running. They was running. Can you imagine just running? Because God finna destroy this whole town now. And, he, and, and look how God did though. Look what he did. He let Lot and them, because they were the only Christians in the town, he let that family live. Told them, hurry up. Told the angels. The angels told them, hurry up. Run. So they, they was running. They ran for like the next day. Guess what? Lot wife looked back. Because God had told them, don't look back. Because if you look back, you're going to turn into a pillar of salt. She looked back. look back so you know him and his daughter but but lot didn't look back nor his daughters they didn't look back they say forget that they not looking back so when she turned into a pillow top y'all know lot was lot was sad y'all know this but i said to myself Okay, Lord, as I'm reading, I'm like, what made her look back? Because her heart was still back there in that sinful town. Her mind, her body was with her husband and her family, but her mind was back there. So that means to tell me, I'm just telling me my own words. Not y'all words, not the Bible word. This is my cousin just talking now. Don't come back and tell me nothing. I'm just telling you what old girl think over here. I'm thinking that she was a sinner in that town, loving that town, loving what's going on in that town. And she didn't want to leave the riches and the wealth that her husband had. y'all ever read that story let me know why she left that town tell me something different well I ain't done reading it yet but look and I began to think that's this is what I was thinking when God released you from something And he tell you to do something, you got to have trust in him. You got to have faith in him. Because we always want to look back on yesterday. That's my because on everything that go on, anything that goes on in my life, I always want to look back. Well, let me tell you back, but back when, but back when, but back when. I said, Lord, see, if you would have told me, you finna destroy everything behind me. And don't look back after it. I mean it. Don't you look back. Oh, girl ain't looking back. Cause let me tell you something. I truly believe 
by me not looking back, that God has something forward in, in store for me that was so wonderful, that was so great, that I didn't have to look back. That's what I think. That goes for, for anything that you go through. We have, we love to look back on yesterday, don't we? That mama cut, huh? That's your girl. Love to look back on yesterday. But you know what I said today? I'm not looking back on yesterday no more. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is a new day. God has so much in store for us as we look forward, as we move forward. Because our past is in our past. We cannot change what's in our past. But we can look forward to the future. That's what your girl thinking. Look. If y'all ain't never read, see, Sodom and Gomorrah is almost like the town that we all live in. There's only a couple of Christian people, but majority of us are sinners. Christian people are sinners too. They're sinners too. But we only try to do right by God. You understand what I'm saying? We try our best to do right. So let me tell you something. He's talking about the town we live in, too. It's a wicked world. Let me ask you something. And I want you to be honest with me. What if you had a wife or a husband? You do have a wife, but some of y'all out there have husbands and some of y'all out there have wives, right? And God came to your house, sent some angels to your house. And said, God said he finna destroy the town. Come on. Y'all need to come on and get up out of here. Okay. And he said, don't look back. Because you're going to turn into a pillar of salt. It got little bitty shells. Y'all got to forgive me. Because every time I bite somebody, anything, it just turn Just so little bit of shells. You're going to turn into some pillar of salt. See? I'm going to keep it real. Now, the angels of heaven have spoken in my house, all right? Telling us, don't look back. I'm not finna tell my husband one time. God said, don't look back. When we start taking our running, I'm not looking back. I'm going to hold my children by the hand. And we're going to continue to run. And while we're running, if my spouse decides to look back, that's on them. That means that his heart wasn't with his family. That means that his body was, but his heart wasn't. Or her body was, and her heart wasn't. Look, fam. All I'm trying to say is, moving forward, Leave what's in the past in the past. Because you're going to turn into a pillar of salt back there. Know that if God sent some angels to your house, or if God said, release the past, release it. I'm talking to that girl in that white shirt. So I'm releasing the past. And I'm moving forward. It got so good to me, y'all. I had to call my mama. Me and my mama went to talking about it. I think we stayed on the phone for about three hours. Just talking about Lottie and his wife and his children. Oh, how great our God is. It's a lot of things that God wants us about. Say we're going to turn it to a pool of salt. 
I'm hypothetically speaking that we're going to turn into pillars of salt. Because, you know, other things happen. This is so good to me, fam. Mm. Y'all ain't never read that story. You got to go read it for yourself. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all know what? I'm so glad God is a good God because God will warn you before destruction. You little thing, you know when something about to happen, tell the truth. You'll be seeing it. You feel it. Sometimes your heart beat. You feel those things. Man, that be God warning you about the destruction in our lives. For real. You know this and I know this. Let me see if I can do something. I did it too. I did it. Hold on. Y'all know what I used to do? Y'all think I'm lying? You see these right here? I used to break all of them off and fry them. And have like a hors d'oeuvre for me and my children as we eat the other crab. I ain't like. This to my good. I used to dip them in the egg, dip it in that fish fry, dip it back in there. Rolling. But y'all know what, them. That's why I said I'm so glad God loves us. Because he, so he don't have to show us no warning signs about what we're about to go through. He don't have to show you that. You know that and I know that. But because of his love for us. Come on, do it. Come on. Come on. Oh. Hold on. That's what he do. Yeah. I want to sit up here and eat these crabs and talk to y'all, but the girl got to go. I just got off of work. I had to come home and read that. And come tell you about it. Because it was in my spirit the day of work. When I was at work today, I said... I'm going to go home and read about Lot and his wife. I had heard about it from the preacher, but never came home and read it for myself. I wanted to read it for myself. So that I could tell y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Can you imagine how Lot felt when his wife back? I can imagine too. You know what, fam? Somebody told me. Somebody said, why you do so much talking? I said, if, if you don't like it, just pass me by. I didn't come over here to talk about somebody else's business or something about somebody else on YouTube or or something. This is something to something. I came over here to talk about the goodness of God. Because that's my purpose in life. See, I know my purpose. And my purpose is, is to tell you about the word of God and how good he is. Fam, look what all he done for me. And if I could repay him back just by speaking to his name or telling you how good he is, that what he do for me, he'll do it for you, then that's what Mama Cousin gonna do. As for me and my house, we will serve him. Okay? And I'll never forget that. Mama Cousin gonna serve him. And left me with five. I think I ate five. And I had five more. I said, 
Well, oh, man, here he is right here. If you really know how good these was to me, you'll see why. Well, you already know what I said at the end of my channel. Hold on. At least I could do to stop this and look you in your face while I'm saying this. Hold on. Wait a minute. Well, you already know what I said at the end of my channels. Know that God loves you and I love you too. And when I say I love you, I sincerely love you because we are brothers and sisters in Christ. That's why I call you my fam. All right? So fam, listen to this. We yesterday and yesterday's past, because sometimes yesterday past will trouble your spirit. Leave it in the past. Don't be like lot, wife. Leave it in the past. <laughs> Talking to that girl in the white shirt. Right there. That girl right there. Leave it in the past. It ain't going to do nothing but handle your spirit, damper your spirit. Because when I think about things in the past, it dampers my spirit. It makes me feel some type of way. It really does. But I got to let go and let go. Okay. All right. Well, it's M to the A to the, let me show you how to say it, okay? It's M to the A to the M to the A to the C U Z Z O. It's my cuz so. Now we're gonna get the beat to it. You ready? Hold on. And I'm about to get out of here. Cause I love this song, man, and I ain't letting it go. Okay, you're gonna have to hear this to the day I start doing YouTube videos, okay? It's M to the A to the M to the A to the C U Z Z O. It's Mama Cuzzo. M to the A to the M to the A to the C U Z Z O. It's Mama Cuzzo. Be blessed, man. <laughs>